Hello, curling fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is My Sands 3 Minutes Max. We're going to take a break from our quick wins for just one episode because I've gotten a lot of questions about how do I run a command line tool at the command line because when I do it, it always fails. How do I get that command line to run in whatever file path I I have entered within the uh, uh, command line? And so this will work whether it's in uh, CMD or you're using PowerShell. And so we're going to go through these instructions. Now we can see uh, on my screen, I have Easy Tools, uh, the folder, and I've downloaded all of his tools, Eric Zimmerman's tools, and I've put them in this Easy Tools folder. And so once I put them in this Easy Tools folder, I open it up and you can see I've got all of these tools in here. I've got JLE, CMD, and all of these different command line tools. But you'll see that when I open up the command line, uh, I can type J-L-E-C-M-D at the path that I happen to be in, and when I hit enter, it says that it's not recognized. So in other words, the program has failed. So how am I going to run this from this path and have it work all the time? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go down to the uh, Windows Start menu, and we're going to right-click on Windows Start menu, and then we're going to click on Search. When we click on Search, we're going to type in the word Advanced, and when we type in the word advanced, we're going to see a list of options. We're going to go to view advanced system settings. Then we're going to click on environment variables and it's going to take us into environment variables. And we're going to go to the second box at the bottom, system variables. We're going to double click on path. When we double click on path, we get a whole other table that opens. We're going to uh, go down to the bottom of this list and we're going to click on new because we want to put in a new variable. In this new variable, I'm going to type uh, C colon backslash easy tools because that's the directory that the tools I want to run are in. Once I have that typed, I'll press enter and then I'll click on OK. I'll click on OK again and OK again. And now I have to close the command line window in order for these uh, things to take effect. I open the command prompt again and now I type JLECMD just like I did before, hit enter, and now we can see that the tool works. Everything we expected to be there is now there. So now no matter what uh, no matter what file path we happen to be in at a command line, when we type JLECMD or any other uh, tool that's in that folder, it's going to run no matter where we are running from. I hope that this helped out. And remember, in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of My Sans 3 Minutes Max. Make sure you check out sans.org for a great offering of all of the courses that we have running.